strong. What's up, everybody? I'm Brother B, and thank you for joining us today on the podcast, Tell the World. Today, we're going to uh, do share with you a couple of things and have a couple of activities uh, together. Of course, I have my boys with me uh, today, as you can see, and um, y'all already know who they are. So we're going to get right to the good stuff and the fun stuff. Uh, again, a baby girl is actually joining us as well, but she runs everything, so uh, you can't see her, but she's there, and she'll be participating today with us. Um, but we're gonna start off first of all, share a, a little bit on on this subject with the boys, because I know that um, you know this is the time of year where school starts, and it's the beginning of the year, and you know. I wanted to just talk to the boys a little bit. You so we're going to talk today them. about some, uh, of course, school coming up around this time of year and the boys starting school a couple of weeks back. Of course, this is always a sad period for us parents as the boys go back to school. It's sad mornings, sad afternoons, and sad 3.30s, you know? Um so we're going to start off with sharing or uh, actually talking a little bit to the boys about their, their this year. As uh, for Che coming up on his senior. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, I don't know why I said, was thinking that. That's crazy. Um, che coming up on his junior year this year. And of course... It's exciting, but as well for a parent, you know, got a couple more years to go in high school and that makes you think and wonder. But the first question I have for Che is um, how, how excited were you to start school? I was not thrilled at all. The we, least excited I've ever been. <laughs> been <actually>. Right. <laughs> We, well, that's good. We go with honesty here. Um, but tell us, Che, this year, as he's, uh, again, he goes to Cas the Christian School of Castle Hills. Uh, shout out to them and uh, go there. It's a good school. But I wanted to ask Che what classes you have because I don't think I even know. Take us through your whole TB schedule. TBH. So Getting all the way down. At 8.20, 8.20, the first bell rings, and <laughs> I have speech. Mm. It's a nice morning Why, why do you have speech? I don't know. Look at him. Is it required? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And then uh, next I have no, uh, uh, English. English 3? Yes. Dual credit as well. Mm. Okay. Just to add Dual the, credit. That's what I took last year in college. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. And then I have physics. Physics? Dual credit? Two? No. Oh, no. I was about to say. Mm. And then Bible. Bible. Which, uh, I don't know. I, I won't. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Go ahead, Jay. And then I have Algebra 2. Algebra 2. Which I didn't take ever <laughs> I don't think that's the case I didn't really. had to have. I took algebra A B <laughs> and then algebra 1 I guess it was a while ago <laughs> so maybe things have changed okay go ahead I mean not that I'm proud of that stay in school yes it's the it's the way and then I have um, lunch and then oh you're barely halfway through the, <laughs> not even halfway through the day <laughs> and then I have History, dual credit. History. Next. World, no, American. I'm not learning about the world. American history. And then athletics and art. And then my day's over. Art is I your last class. Yes. You don't have uh, 
You said athletics. <laughs> no, mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, what do you... Okay, let's go over to Dan first, as Dan is in his second year of college. Oh, his first year. No, yeah, yeah. Second year. Second year. Oh. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Yeah, his crazy. second year of college. Um, there at uh, NWV. Yeah. NBC. Close, no? NBC. Um, what are you taking, Dan, this year? Like classes? Mm-hmm. I got biology. And then government, Texas government, I think. And then um, psychology Mm. and then social work, introduction to social work. Mm. Those are good, good subjects. Yeah. Is that the, like, do you take those in high school? Biology, I never took in high school. But you could have? supposed to, yeah. But this is like college because like. Even algebra, you uh-huh. take like algebra, and, but you take college algebra. You didn't take college. biology, huh? No. You didn't take biology. What is biology? The study of. Wait, 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 wait! No, I didn't take anatomy. I took biology. Yeah, I was about to say I, I took biology. Uh-huh. I took biology. Bi- I did the study of what? The Bio. Uh, oh, the an- the nature. Nature. It's boring. That's all I know. Uh, but shout out to the teacher. She was great. Talks. She talks too fast. But <laughs> she's great too. So, um. Yeah, so they started this year a couple of weeks already. Of course, as a parent, I just look forward to the sports. Um, nah, I'm just... I like the academics as well, TBH. As a student, I just look forward to the sports. <laughs> I've retired from the sports. Oh. It's Officially. I mean, so um, we were going to uh, have, first of all, we're gonna play a game real quick because this is a this is a topic that is all over there. Uh, you know, is trending nowadays. Is that the older generation, which is me and Babe, don't quite understand or know the younger generation, and as well, the younger generation doesn't necessarily understand the older generation. So of course, we're gonna play the famous and the incomparable. Generation gap, and what this is, what this is, is we're gonna play this game, right? And basically, the way we're gonna do this one is we're gonna show I'm gonna show Babe, which is gonna be again, she's over there yonder, and she's gonna have to guess a picture. So you're gonna see the picture on your screen, right? And as you see it on your screen, <laughs> <laughs> not right now, who's <laughs> gonna show up? Um, I'm <laughs> We're going to have to, um, <laughs> they're going to, uh, babe's going to have to, uh, get, <laughs> you won't look over there. <laughs> mom's going to, babe's going to have to guess, right? And this is a picture from nowadays. And then the boys are going to have to guess a picture from babe and my time, right? Which again, most of y'all know is from, uh, they have a game show now about it. So. The first picture or the first question, and then I'm going to show it to Dan and Che, and they have to, you know, together figure it out. This this picture that you see right there is the cast from what popular show? So I'm going to here show it to. Are you asking me? Both of y'all. Show it to, I mean, look at it and then show it to Che. Dan knows. And now this is a popular show from... A Again. long time ago, right? <laughs> yes, a long time ago. Like ages. I mean, TBH, it was like, what, 15 years ago? 20, I don't know. 15? No, it's probably longer than that. To me, Che, the guy on the farthest right, mm-hmm. he looks like he's from Jumanji. But I don't think that was a show. That was a, that was a movie. Okay, right. so as everybody sees, uh, you can see the picture there on the screen. The lady looked like the queen. Um, the queen the boys. Uh, yeah, have to now there. guess what they think the name of this show is. There's 4077. That's what I thought the name I, was. Too. Yeah. 4077? 4077? <laughs> Incorrect. Yeah, I don't know. Incorrect. I don't know if there was ever a show called 4077. <laughs> do you know who they are? I do, yeah. Wait, wait. wait. This is the cast. Are we? The, the, the Treasure Land Explorers. 
<laughs> no. Okay. That's not what it is either. <laughs> this is actually a cast, which most of y'all know, from MASH. M-A-S-H. Oh, MASH. yeah. It was a show, military uh, show I back. I was close, right? Jumanji? In the... Okay. So now, we're going to show this image to Babe. And she has to tell us, what's the question <laughs> on there? Name, okay, name this system. And what'd you say? Nintendo DS. A Nintendo DS. A Nintendo DS. What is it? It looks like a DS. That's not fair, she had kids. Correct. That is Baby true. girl gets it right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, baby girl got it right. Uh, this, as you see on the screen, is a Nintendo DS. And Dan says she cheated because she had kids. But she got it right. So the score is one to zero. Next. This is for the boys. Next image. I Name know. these oh, characters. The, the Frankenstein's. Name these <laughs> characters. No, actually, though. Oh, okay, the characters? It's the, yeah, it's Name the, it's, the characters. It's like Betty and... and uh, uh, Orga? Uh, Orca? No. <laughs> <It's a whale>. <laughs> <laughs> Orca? Orga? <laughs> Orga? Um, Name these characters. Again, so, so this that's is... Mrs. Flintstone. <laughs> And the other one is... Yeah, but they had names, though. That's their name, no? No. Uh, no. I they, don't think anybody ever I called them that. I'm respectful. So they I didn't know. take on their husband's last surname? Go by the last they name. They probably did, but they never said that. They went by their first name. Betty and who? It's not Betty. Oh. I mean, it could be a good guess. Betty and Olga? <laughs> Olga. Betty and Olga. <laughs> I like the guess. I mean, the other one's... Dora. Dora, Dora starts with a D. Dora? 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 <laughs> I mean, Betty and, and Dora's from your time, oh, guys. Uh, Dom. Your D- time. Dominique. <laughs> Dom. No, no, Dominique. No, no. Um, okay. What's okay, y'all's answer? What's that? Y'all both have, <laughs> a, y'all both have a chance. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Daphne. Mine is, mine is Dom and Olga. Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mine's Betty and Daphne. Betty and Daphne. No. Nope. Incorrect. Names? The answer is... Wilma? Wilma. And Betty? Uh, yeah. Betty was like, one of them. How did I know Betty? So you can't make fun uh, of my ben, answers. I think her Dan's name was Betty. Wilma. Wait, like, did you say Betty? Wilma is... <laughs> you started with Betty, right? I started no, with Betty. Did. Oh, you did? How did yeah. I know? One of them is Betty. Wilma. <laughs> so y'all incorrect hey. once again. So, so far... 50%, right? So far. Who knows more about who? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, who is this artist? I mean, mom is just so hip. Wait, wait, wait. Is that for what? Let me see. Hold I on. I have no idea who that is. Let me was, see. was that did y'all just go or mom? Wilma. We just did. W- Wilma. I think this is actually for mom. Yeah. Oh, well, mom, was, knows. Let me see. mom knows who that is. Oh, who is it? You're saying mom knows who go that ahead. is? Yeah, let mom see that. I have no idea who that is. I know well. What is it? Shania Twain? Wilma? Shania Twain? Uh, oh, sorry. It's uh, incorrect. Britney Spears. No, I believe her name is Fergie. Oh. Oh. She's from the Black Eyed Peas. That's why there's peas there. I thought those were peas. That was a long time ago, no? I don't know. That was for the parent. I'm only... But it was for you, though. 2000. It wasn't for them. Like, uh, I was born. Oh, well. September 19th. I mean, some of them... I don't know. that They said it was for the kids. Grandparents Day. Okay. Finish. <laughs> I don't even know if I know this. Finish the phone number for this popular 70s song. 444. 70s? You know it? Which one? 
Oh, let me see the first letters. There's three. Eight, six, seven. Okay, she knows. Oh, that. it's uh. So is that like the? Is that the area code? Eight, six, seven. That's the first three numbers of the phone number. Finish the phone number, Che. We have a good chance. Eight, six. <laughs> you know what I mean? We just gotta come up with four numbers. I mean, he came already. Four, 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 four. Eight, six, seven, nine. Is it like dumb and there's like letters in there? Like, like eight, six, seven, love. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> something dumb like that. No, it's like eight, eight, six, three. seven. Okay, just think. What do you go with? I would say nine. Eight, six, seven, four, two, three, five. <laughs> four, two, three, five. Four two, four two three five J N- nine four yes, seven yes. six <laughs> yes <laughs> he gives ours nine five five four. <laughs> I'm just do what is it, baby? Five three oh nine. Oh. Eight six seven five three oh nine. <laughs> Why am I gonna know that? <laughs> I don't know it either. Okay, uh, next funny. one, next image for baby girl is what's the name of this album? Not the person, Who but the it? name of this Justin album. Oh. That's my guy. Oh. It's, uh... Um, the sound will go off right there. Dun. Good, good. Welcome to the love. I, no, I don't know. Welcome to the love. What is it? That doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. I have to look it up. I don't know. Put it. We wouldn't know who it was. Baby, baby. That's a song now. Yeah. Baby. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't know. Okay. Incorrect. So. We're all tied up. The we are. No. (laughs) He got Betty. I did get Betty. What is what is the score? One one One? to point five to have one half. One zero. Okay. Mom wins. At uh, all, that was uh, even. Yeah, Wilma, two, oh, okay. to, two to one half. So, generation gap. <laughs> Obviously, the boys don't know nothing. <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, what? so uh, I have an, uh, a question before we move on uh, for the boys and. The question I had, just to kind of give you a little information, and I wanted them to share it with you, is when do you and I wanted the boys to share with you, each one of them, probably like, you know, in a minute or so of when they actually accepted Christ into their life. And if they remember how um, how it happened or, you know kind of the story behind that because i just wanted again because one of the biggest things right i've I've said before for us um in the previous podcast we talk about love and stuff and and you know the love that comes from god and god sharing you know love with us through his son jesus christ so i wanted the boys real quick to just share um maybe within a minute or two of the story of when they accepted christ and what was the whole how did it go about or how did it happen? Me? Yes, me. It don't matter. Um, I was pretty young when I ex- to pray to accept Christ. Um, but I think it was just a realization that... Well, I don't know. I was young. So it wasn't much of a realization. But I knew I needed Jesus. Um, and I think I knew, after like thinking back on it, I knew that you could live life and go through life going through the motions or you could do it with a purpose and um you do it with a purpose and that purpose is uh, to give honor and glory to god um and of course it's all a gift from god and and i think even thinking back about it you realize you know e- eternal life is is pretty nice too and, and stuff like that but i don't really it, it's hard because i was pretty um i don't know if i remember too much but i know that uh, god just kind of touched my heart and I knew I needed Jesus. Okay, Che? Um, mine, I remember when I accepted Christ. I was seven. And uh, it was during VBS, but not during VBS. It was when I was at home after VBS. Mm. 
Um, I think I did it on this blue chair we had. I remember uh, kneeling down and praying on the blue chair. And uh, uh, that's pretty much all I remember from the situation. But I know I was seven. Mm. And I heard something at VVS and it just clicked and made sense. So I went home and prayed that God would be in my life. And here we are now. Cool. That's, um, and of course, me and me and babe remember those moments. Um, and we could probably tell you the story, but those were, of course, uh, as parents and, and those that are parents, you know, how, uh, big and how important and what a blessing that was for us. And here we are, like Shay said, um, I wanted to real quick, let me back up. So the importance, right? Uh, if you heard both of my boys share, um, was the fact that they, you know, whether they heard it again at church or it was again one of them VBS, um, they understood and they realized that, you know, what God had given us, you know, in, in the love that he shared with us uh, through his son. And they understood that they wanted to talk to God about that and, and you know, ask him into their lives. And that's why the the gift that he gave us in salvation right um through his son is such a blessing but so important for everybody you know for all of us uh to know what it's about to understand that you want to make a decision you know to allow Christ into your life and they can tell you now that they're they're nowhere near where they were when they first accepted Christ first of all they were young but I'm talking spiritually. Spiritually, God, once you accept him, he begins to move and do things in your life, right? Um, and so I wanted to read this scripture real quick. And this is, we all, uh, I wanted to read this scripture. We all we all know the, or most of us know, right, John three sixteen. But I wanted to also read verse 17, which says, For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him right through jesus um and verse 18 as well whoever believes in him is not condemned but whoever does not believe in him stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of god's one and only son so i think that's that's one thing that people have a misconception that god doesn't love or Christians don't love and I think that's where if you think about it that's not uh true in regards to God and Jesus and what the word says um what I was going to say was that the one that you need to be looking at the one that I've always taught the boys right the one that did everything from the beginning like I shared about love who was love right from the beginning is God, you know, and Jesus, his son. And of course, we have the Holy Spirit in us. But I think that's one thing we have to remember is that people are and should look at God. For the example of love. Many times we look to Christians and say, Christians, you're supposed to love. Now, yes, we're, we're Christians. We're trying to be Christ like. Trying to be the example of love. But we also are people. So the one that we should look at and look to is God. To understand how love looks like. And what does love feel like. Don't look to me. Don't look to my boys. Now we're going to do our best to love the way he did. But we're still people. We know we need him. We're, you know, we're fallen. We're, we have things were not perfect right we have things that are wrong with us so the one to look at is god and his example and the word of god to learn and understand what love is and me and the boys i think have learned in our life what love is and who god is through that love i just want to thank everybody for joining us again on our podcast 
we're going to continue these and, you know, we'll share different topics and talk about different topics um, and what the Bible says about those things as well. So, again, I want to thank Baby on the ones and twos and thank my guests. They're not guests. Thank my uh, children, my home team. My <laughs> <laughs> thank my boys for joining me today. And um, until our next podcast, check us out on uh, YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, and all the rest of the social media. Till next time, be blessed and stay. Adios, amigos. Rest.